good morning everyone i welcome you all in today's online class and that is related to the chapter 1 uh, and the topic is soil resource and it is one type of natural resource and also we discussed uh, that is so many things and so many uh, that is topics related to the soil resource but today we are going to discuss about the soil erosion types of soil erosion and also how to control them so let's uh, begin so already we discussed uh, what is called as uh, soil erosion soil erosion means uh, that is the removal of the top layer of the soil uh, removal washing down that this type of words you can use that removal or washing down of the soil top layer of the soil by two types of causes one that is natural and another that is man made so here also we discussed uh, that is causes of soil erosion two causes present natural causes that means these are controlled by the nature like uh, soil erosion by running water river rain water soil erosion by wind soil erosion by glacier soil erosion by sea waves and also man made causes we are also responsible for the soil erosion like deforestation because we know the roots of the plants hold the soil make it compact that means what it can protect the soil from erosion and also if there will be tree cover that means what the the rain drops cannot fall uh, directly on the soil layer at that time also we can control the soil erosion so that means what deforestation is also one cause of soil erosion next constructional activities when we are doing construction we are digging the land we are destroying the structure of the soil we are destroying the compactness of the soil that's why also and mining in mining also we have to have to dig the land and overgrazing that means when the animals are working on the grassland by the foot steps also the top layer of the soil become loose and it is uh, also um, that is accelerate the rate of erosion but here today we will discuss about the soil erosion by the water so before going to the soil erosion types of soil erosion by water we should know about two types of flow of the water rain water flow one that is called as seed flow another is called as rill flow so before going to the discussion and before going to the details of seed flow and rill flow i am i want to again that is uh, re, uh, recall the thing that that the slope of the land there are three types of slope of the land one that is uh, steep slope that means mountainous region moderate slope plateau region and the gentle slope plain region why i am telling about the slope that means steep slope moderate slope gentle slope because slope controls the flow of the water slope controls the rate of erosion clear so at first slope controls which thing flow of the water in general way in your basic sense you can say that in which slope the speed of the water is more that is in the steep slope because the difference between maximum and minimum the height is more the difference between the maximum height and the minimum height is more in the steep slope region that's why the speed of the water is more and that's why the rate of erosion is also more in the steep slope area that means mountainous region and hilly region but in moderate slope it is also more but it is less than the steep slope region but in gentle slope the difference between highest and that means maximum and the minimum height is very less that's why that means what no, that is the rate of erosion is less now uh, that is we have to understand what is called as seed flow and what is called as rill flow so seed flow means it is common in the gentle slope area that means mainly in the plain areas where the difference in the slope between the maximum and the minimum is very less there that is what the seed flow is common and rill flow is common where the slope is gentle so slope is steep or moderate so rill flow for the steep slope and that is moderate slope and seed flow for the gentle slope now come to the next seed flow means when the water is moving what when the water is flowing on the top layer of the soil uniformly you can see in the picture that water is moving that throughout the top layer of the soil it is not confined to a channel in the seed flow the water is not moving water is not that is running 
through a channel it is running uniformly on the top layer of the soil it covers the total top layer of the soil but when it is rain flow at that time the water is flowing through a channel now the question why in the seed flow the ch channels are not made because uh, that is due to which thing due to the slope in seed flow area the slope is gentle that's why speed of the water is also less and that's why it cannot cut the soil into channel but in real flow it is flowing through the steep slope that's why speed of the water is more that's why it can easily cut the soil it can easily make the channel clear so uh, the channels are called as real complete so differences are clear seed flow means gentle slope area plain land and here the water rain water that is moving like uh, that is uniformly and it covers the total top layer of the soil clear and here also the speed of the water is less that is called as seed flow and real flow means that uh, when the area is coming under steep slope or that is moderate slope and when the speed of the water is more it can cut the soil it can make the channel and these channels are called as real so this first basic concept we have cleared now come to the next seed erosion so what is called as seed erosion we can we have already discussed seed flow the erosion of the soil which is happened by wasting by the seed flow that means seed erosion is one uniform erosion of the soil because in seed flow we have seen the total top layer of the soil is covered by the water flow that means so the total top layer is being eroded uniformly that is called as seed erosion it removes the soil layer in wide area because the water is spread over a large area like a seed flow that's why it is caused by slit flow i already told this type of erosion is caused in gentle slope areas here you can see in the picture and diagram now come to the next that is real erosion so real erosion means here the erosion of the soil by the that is real flow by the reels reels means the long narrow channel which are uh, created by the flow of the water so here all the removal of soil by the real flow and already i have told in real erosion uh, the erosion mainly occurs where the channels are being formed here you can see in the picture that where the soil erosion rate is more where the channels are being formed so that is the difference between seed erosion and real erosion and i already told real erosion and real flow both are related and that's why real erosion means it is mainly occurred where the steep slope and moderate slope available or that is prevalent now come to the next gully erosion so gully erosion means it is the second stage that means later stage of real erosion at first in the steep slope areas or moderate slope areas due to the high speed of the water the that is channels reels are uh, that is created and then gradually uh, continuous erosion going on and due to this continuous erosion the reels are uh, that is converted into gully that means reels long narrow channel converted into that is long wide deep channel take a look reels means long narrow channel and gully means long in the place of narrow wide and also that is deep depth is more width is more and length is near about that is same or it may be more that is the difference between real and gully so soil erosion by the gullies or through the gullies that is called as gully erosion other things are remain same that means it is just the extended version of which thing that is real erosion you can see the difference in real erosion that is what the channels are very narrow and depth is also very less but in gully erosion take a look the width and the depth that is so that's why i told the gully erosion is the latter stage the next stage of soil erosion just after the real erosion now come to the next how to control seed erosion already we have seen we have discussed seed flow and seed erosion so how can you convert first of all if we want to control the seed erosion we have to cover the uh, that is total top layer of the soil how can you cover 
मे वि बै गोयिंग ग्रासेस मे वि बै डूंग कंटिन्यूअस क्रप कल्टिभेशन उ कैन नट लिव द लैंड आनकाल्टिटेड बाट वेन एवर इट इज कल्टि आनकाल्टिटेड आवार डिवटी टू कावर द लैंड एंड दैट मे वि बै अर्गानिक मैटर दैट मे वि बै डिफरेंट टाइप अफ वेस्ट मैटेरियल हुईच कैन बी डिकम्पोज दिज वेस्ट मैटेरियल उइ कैन थ्रो अन द टप लेयर अफ द सएल बै प्लान कावर अल्स उइ कैन डू and one thing here it is written by maintaining organic matter so what is the merit of organic matter if in any soil the amount of organic matter is more it can easily absorb the soil it can easily help the soil it can easily that is absorb the water it can help the water to stay and also it helps in infiltration always remember if water is being that is absorbed by the soil at that time the flow of the water on the top layer will be less and at that time rate of erosion will be also less that's why organic matter is playing an important role if organic matter present it is behaving like a glue and it is behaving like adhesive and it helps the water to stay it helps the water to infiltrate it helps the water that is being absorbed by the soil that's why the top that on the top layer of the soil the run of the water flow is less and that's why the rate of erosion is also less that is the these are the ways to control the seed erosion how to control renal gar erosion so maximize infiltration of water that means you have to Uh, that is decrease the flow of the water on the top layer of the soil that means you have to increase the absorption of the water infiltration of the water percolation of the water downward movement of the water through the soil layers this thing you have to do and how is it possible it is possible by increasing organic matter in the soil and also next thing that is you have to provide the cover on the soil layer by mulching the name is mulching mulching means what that in the It due act due to our household activities, different type of that is biodegradable waste materials are generated. These biodegradable waste materials you have to throw on the top layer of the soil. Then this biodegradable waste material can cover the that is uncultivated land or barren land, and then. Uh, the water flow cannot come in contact directly with the soil layer. That means it is just like a cover. and it can protect that is uh, from the soil erosion because the water cannot come in contact with the soil directly because you have already given a layer of biodegradable material what is the another merit of mulching that when you are throwing the biodegradable material on the uncultivated land on the barren land gradually these biodegradable materials will be decomposed will be mixed with the soil and it will improve the fertility of the soil to so two purposes you can complete one that is what you are giving a cover Uh, to the soil and it can protect the soil from erosion another that is what you can increase the soil fertility because these are biodegradable waste material this can be mixed with the soil and this can improve the fertility of the soil next that is strip cropping next that is what strip cropping so what is called a strip cropping later we'll discuss just remember the name that is called as strip cropping later one by one i'll discuss now come to the next uh, that i told that one by one so many uh, methods of soil conservation will discuss the first method of soil conservation that is important uh, very very much important for the hilly region for the mountainous region you can see here uh, in this picture that that is mainly suitable for the mountainous region and the name is terrace farming or step cultivation terrace farming terrace means what steps terrace means what steps steers so first of all you should know that this terrace farming is mainly suitable for mountainous region and mountainous region means steep slope and steep slope means that is what the speed of the water is more and the speed of the water is more that means the rate of erosion is more and if the rate of erosion is more that means what that we are losing the fertile soil it is not good for the that is crop cultivation so how can you solve all these problems the best way that you have to decrease the flow of the water 
first thing that is what you have to decrease the flow of the water if you can decrease the flow of the water the rate of erosion will be less and then at that time you can also uh, that is save the you can uh, protect the soil fertility you can conserve the soil fertility that means you can do some crop cultivation so how can you decrease the flow of the water on the steep slope it is mountainous region that means what here you have to use the concept of stairs in the buildings in buildings when you are giving, going from ground floor to that is first floor at the time we are using stairs step by step movement here also we have to cut the steep slope into stairs or steps so what is the benefit to cut the slope or mountain slope into stairs or terraces that means what you are getting so many steps so when the water is coming from the top of the mountain to downward at that time it is going through so many steps and steps means what it has one plain surface also so at that time the ray, the uh, water is getting obstructed and at that time the speed of the water is decreased and that means what you can control the soil erosion one thing that means when you are cutting the slope steep slope into steps or terraces the speed of the water is decreased why because at that time it is not getting that type of easy path to move downward that is thoroughly it is being obstructed by so many steps the speed of the water is decreased and rate of erosion also decreased another thing when you are cutting the that is steep slope of the mountain into steps you are getting some plain land also when you are making the steps or terraces on these plain lands you can cultivate the crops that is also another benefit so making the steps making the terraces and also cultivating on the terraces that is called as terrace farming these are suitable on the um, that is himalayan mountainous region and also that is the some uh, that is in plateau regions also these are suitable wherever steep slopes are available so this is terrace farming other methods of soil conservation we'll discuss in the next day so that's all for today so today we discussed about that is what soil erosion there are two causes present natural causes and man made causes natural causes means these are caused by nature and man made causes means these are controlled by human beings that means we are responsible and here next we discuss that soil erosion by the water and at that time we discuss the basic concept what is called as rill flow what is called as seed flow and then we discuss that rill erosion seed erosion gully erosion and then we discussed how to control the seed erosion how to control the rill erosion how to control the gully erosion and then we discussed about some steps of conservation some methods of conservation of soil and these are suitable for particular regions like terrace farming it is for mountainous region or hilly regions so that's all for today next day we'll discuss the other methods of soil conservation uh, if you have any query you put up the query uh, through the proper channel that's all for today thank you